Cheers. Thanks Cheers. for coming here, Daniel. Oh, my pleasure, my friend. Having been to your shows, both as a friend, but also with, you know, that even creative lens, there's an entirely different aspect that sure. performance has. And for you, you bounce off the audience a lot. You know, there's like this energy between you, the audience, especially when the song gets big. Can you describe that a bit? Like, what is that feeling you have on stage when you and the audience, when you're really in it? Yeah, it's, it's I mean, it's, it's a hard, um, it's a hard feeling to reciprocate, or it's a hard feeling to, to really bring to words because when it's something that you want to do for the rest of your life and you figure that out, you know, just like yourself in film um, and, you know, directing, uh, it's something that you just can't even describe. It's, it's a feeling when you're on stage in that moment, it's, it's like you're on, you're on thin air, you're on, you're on cloud nine, you're flying, you know? Uh, so it's, it's one of those feelings where I can't ever find any other circumstance where I can reciprocate that feeling and to have a show where I'm on stage, in the limelight, in the moment, working with my, my team and my bandmates, it's just, it's an incredible feeling. Having been to the shows, right? We talk about the crowd, we talk about the relationship you have with everybody in the audience. Heck, we're singing, we're singing New York, New York with you. That relationship extends for you beyond just the crowd you have, beyond just jazz, right? Right. You have a relationship with the city, yeah. and that's a huge part of who you are. What does Saskatoon mean to you in that aspect? Well, uh, I've been here a little longer than you. Um, <laughs> you know, I, you're not new to the city, but you know, nor am I. Uh, and this city, to be able to see it grow in the last five, ten years from where it used to be, um, a lot of people thought of it as a small town. You know, country, country city. Um, you know, just you know, people going around with wheat and wheat in their mouth. You know, chewing on a straw of wheat. But um, that's not really how it goes. It's more so now, it's developed as a food scene, as you know, um, as a music scene, as a culture scene. There's so much happening right now that it's exciting to be here, um, which I'm proud to be a part of Saskatoon. This might be news to quite a few people, but um, as of recent, I made the decision to move down to Toronto. And not because Toronto is necessarily uh, more fun. Uh, it's actually gonna be probably pretty hard and challenging and uh, grueling uh, for the first little bit, but to work out there as a musician for me is a huge opportunity because number one, there's an expansive uh, opportunity with people and there's, you, there's a huge crowd out there. Um, I mean, constantly musicians driving and thriving and, and creating. Whereas in Saskatoon, that is happening for sure, and I'm so happy to be a part of the music scene here, which I'm I'm thrilled. Uh, but in you know in Toronto, I mean we're six hours away from New York, right? You know it's it's a small apple, it's it's really close to New York and the hubs, and um, you know that's where the big producers are. That's where you know people that are you know moving and shaking are at. And uh, to me, I've I've just decided that music is a possibility of a career for me. So. As for a career move, that's that's the decision I need to make. So, cheers, my friend. Cheers mm. to uh... to new beginnings. Thanks for coming, Kelsey, Sean. It's a pleasure. Yes, Always sir. It is, it is a pleasure. It is a pleasure, isn't it? And you know what? Let's let's just come to it. So what is the concept that you guys have all experienced? Not in Saskatoon, not even in Canada, we'll say for a lifetime. Well, Daniel's last concert is actually one of my favorite ones I've ever been to. Oh. <laughs> well then. <laughs> it, was, it was my first concert I ever went to. It was in, I think I was in elementary school. And it was Jurassic Five, and my dad dropped us off in the government nightclub in downtown Toronto. It's, it's been torn down now. You were in elementary school? Yes, I was in elementary school. Your dad school. dropped you off? He dropped us off at 9 o'clock, and he picked us up back at like 3 in the morning. And I remember like the, the crowd, everyone was clearly in you know, their 20s, and we had these elementary school kids, and we were looking at everybody, and they were all smoking and walking in front of them, and they said, what's the thing after? Did you go to a show in elementary And then my dad picked us up at 3 o'clock, and said, how was the show? And it was great, and then that was it. But, it was my first entry to music at the concerts, and I was I was there. When I was young, in kind of high school days, I used to listen to a lot of 
non-French Sinatra music, which included uh, what well, blasphemies? It included uh, heavy metal and uh, bands like Avenged Sevenfold oh, wow. and uh, Disturbed and Hail the Villain. All these bands that Please may not mean anything, <laughs> but yeah, that's right. And so they had a concert called Uproar, and it included all these bands. And it was during the summer. It was this huge, huge festival, and. Um, Collectively, all these bands came together, and there were like fans everywhere. There was outdoor uh, arenas, and there was indoor arenas, and uh, it was amazing. I that was one night I actually broke my lowest rib on my left hand side <laughs> in the mosh pit. Oh, perfect. So yeah, memories sometimes you know even if they're painful, it's uh, it's a great memory. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 